North Korea continued its barrage of missile tests earlier today, including an intercontinental ballistic missile that reportedly failed mid-flight, according to South Korean defense officials. Now, those tests triggered emergency alarms in parts of neighboring Japan, warning people to shelter in place. NBC News foreign correspondent Raf Sanchez joins us now from Seoul, South Korea, with the latest. So, Raf, first of all, what makes South Korean officials think that this intercontinental ballistic missile test failed? Joe, the initial trajectory of this missile showed it flying east from North Korea and then all the way over Japan onto the other side. That's what triggered these alarms in Japan. We had sirens going off. We had people getting alerts on their cell phones telling them to seek cover. Instead, what happened was the missile fell into the sea east of North Korea, west of Japan. It didn't fly over Japan in the end. And that suggests to North Korean intelligence officials, who you can imagine, this is their full-time job, that this missile launch did not go as well as the North Koreans wanted it to. We have, though, Joe, seen the North Koreans successfully test long-range ICBMs in the past. So the fact that this test failed does not mean that they do not have working long-range weapons. So, Raf, South Korea just announced its extended its partnership with the United States to conduct, to conduct joint military exercise drills. Any idea? I mean, has this triggered or motivated North Korea's uptick in missile activity? So I think the short, simple answer is yes. Why are the North Koreans firing missiles today as opposed to next week or last week? It seems that it's time to coincide with these massive joint U.S.-South Korean military drills. They involve 240 aircraft. They involve thousands of troops from both militaries. It's a real kind of crown jewel of the U.S.-South Korean alliance, and it's something that enrages the North. But, Joe, I think the bigger picture here is the North Koreans over the last year or so have been moving towards a much tougher line on all things nuclear. You'll remember Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un were able to sit down together back in 2018 to talk about at least the possibility of the North Koreans maybe giving up some of their nuclear capabilities in return for sanctions relief. There are no talks like that going on right now. We basically have very little diplomacy between the United States and North Korea, just brinksmanship. Jeff. All right. NBC News foreign correspondent Raf Sanchez. Raf, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.